Oh, yeah. Let's get it, y'all. Showtime. Time to go out there and win, fellas. <laughs> That's the, that is the way you get your team fired up. I'd say they're anxious to get this one started. It's an all-Western Conference matchup in today's game as the Lakers come into town for this one. There is no better time of year than the holidays for NBA basketball on 2K Sports. Welcome, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. Our starting lineup to look at the matchups here and who we'll see for our starting five for both teams. And as we break down the game, let's take a look here at Steve Nash. Well, in any discussion... Fifty-two left here in the opening quarter. Rush with the steal. Banked in off the glass. The defense to start and ignite that play was terrific. And I love the fact that they attacked early in the shot clock. And now that they have the lead, they might even want to get more aggressive defensively. Really attack, try to come up with more steal. Baysmore dishes to Marshall. And Bazemore kicks to Marshall. Just five to shoot. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. It was mostly just spot minutes for Kendall Marshall in his rookie campaign. But around the halfway mark of last season, he was able to work his way into the rotation a bit more. And I think he got a taste of what it's like to run an NBA team. And I think he's got the potential to be a very solid point guard going forward. And Kendall Marshall drafted 13th out of North Carolina last season. The knocks on him were shooting and athleticism. But he knows how to run a team, that's for sure. He does, Kevin. He's an outstanding passer, uh, floor general. Uh, he's been compared to maybe a guy like Mark Jackson. Uh, but he'll need to shoot the ball a little bit better to solidify his place in the league. There's 57 seconds left here in the first quarter. From deep, rebounded by the Lakers. This is their first chance to take a look at the Jazz this season. Well, and somewhat surprisingly, they actually lost the season series last year, and playoff status apparently meant nothing when it came to how they matched up. Poke loose. And here they come. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. And the offense just getting right to the rim, but at least they saved the layup with the foul. That's old school basketball rules. I mean, at the end of the day, no easy layup. Earn it from the line. Both free throws, good for Mr. Clutch. And Clark, they should not have uh, dropped that series. I mean, that was just sloppy. I agree with you, Kevin. I think some teams just get underestimated. Plenty of teams can give you trouble if you assume you're going to come in and use them as a doormat. You've got to be ready to play every time you lace them up. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Pass to Bazemore. Lock at six. And here's Johnson outside. That's good. Johnson's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for the Lakers. Here's Mr. Clutch. 11-point game is last outing. The feed to Williams. No good trying to beat the buzzer. Tie game in Utah. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. Tune in this Saturday night, December 28th. And a tight game here as we... Thanks, Kevin. I'm with Coach Mike D'Antoni and trailing as we head to half. And now, brought to you by Sprint. This is 2K's The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And now. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. Here's Mr. Clutch. That's good. Mr. Clutch has got the lead up to three now for the Jams. So much of what ailed the Lakers could be traced to the lack of defensive presence. And it really came to a head when Magic Johnson, one of the greatest Lakers of all time, called them out about looking to play showtime offense while not paying attention to solid defense. Mr. Clutch, he's in a shooting guard. 
Favors is out there with Thomas. Then there's Burke, and it's Hayward in at the three slot. That's the five on the floor for the Jazz. His shooting's been outstanding. Definitely one of the reasons his team is up in this game. Farmar passes to Young. Here's Farmar, defended by Burke. Meeks dishes to Hill. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And going back to what Clark said, they didn't actually try to run that much based on tempo, more than what they might have been used to, certainly, Steve. But the D was a concern in a major way. Well, it was really more about teams running wild on them instead of the other way around. You look at the Laker personnel, big front line last year with Howard and Gasol. Uh, the transition defense wasn't quite there. You throw in the injuries. They were never able to find that balance between good offense and solid defense. Well, you always hear about how loud this Jazz crowd is at home, and trust me, it is loud. They are a big part of why the Jazz have been so tough at home for so long, but the personnel of the Jazz has had something to do with that as well. And Marshall kicks to Young. Young off a pick from Hill. He got right to the cup using that screen. Young's got six points in the quarter. Well, he's been a real positive factor for them today, although, you know, as a team, they've had a lot of negatives mixed in there as well. And as you said, the Jazz very tough at home as always, Clark, and 30 wins for them in this building last season, which usually, Steve, is enough to get you into the playoffs. Yeah, that's a, an amazing stat. 30 home wins and you don't get in. Just shows you how difficult and how tough the Western Conference was. Knocked away. Rush with the steal. You know, with the time left, they can trade two for one here. If they hurry, seems like they're on their heels every time defensively because the ball continues to go into the post. Well, if they don't pick up the aggression, things are only going to get worse. Marshall passes to Gasol and stolen by Thomas. Thomas is screen on Hill. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. Here comes Kendall Marshall. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Can't hit. Jefferson with some nice D. He's far too tentative in the paint. And even more so when the defender is up tight on him like that time. And that's it for the third. Coming up next. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. Well, with this assist, he shows you just what a well-rounded guard he really is. Kind of a combo guard, even though he's listed as a, a shooting guard. Really a diverse offensive skill set. We're almost seeing more of that, aren't we? It's like guys that have point guard skills that can play both those yeah, positions. Yeah, for huh? sure. Our fourth quarter action underway, presented by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. Taking a look at Los Angeles. Nash and Meeks together in the back. Kent Bazemore is out there with Hill, and it's Kamen in at the five down low. Hill sets the screen for Nash. An easy layup after coming off the pick. You know, something we're seeing less and less of these days, that little finger roll. Here's Mr. Clutch, defended by Nash. Here's Mr. Clutch. That drops. And the Jazz lead by 11. Here's Nash. Utah called for the foul. And a little confusion there on the initial call. Still trying to find out, Clark, who the foul is on. Well, with a hard double like that, it happens so quickly, it's, it's really never easy to see who calls the contact. Well, whether or not the foul was actually on him, if you're his teammate, you have to step up and... One fifty-eight left in the fourth quarter of this one. The pass to Gasol. It's Nash with the drive. Came it. There it is. It's Nash picking up the assists. Nash has got five assists in the game. He's flipped the script here in this half, shooting a much higher percentage from the field. And a miss there on the triple. 
So for the Jazz, their last game, a win against the Grizzlies in Memphis. Young outside, looking for Gasol. He gets it there, and lots of contact there. Missing the shot, he'll shoot two. Well, great length and skill for Gasol, guys. Uh, people forget he's one of the best post scorers in the game. A little underrated, if that's possible. He can finish with either hand, great footwork. He can score on the block. He can pace you up and knock down a jump shot. To me, he's the most skilled big man in the game right now. And Steve, you talk about his skill level, his passing and vision for a big guy. Really unique and special, whether on the high post or low post. He does an excellent job finding his teammates for hoops. This is the Thomas. Here's Mr. Clutch, defended by Nash. Zinks it, and the shot for Mr. Clutch. Oh, a fantastic quarter for him here in the fourth. I mean, efficiency personified here. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Hey, Kevin, I was able to hear the advice Mike D'Antoni gave to his team during that break. He told his squad, listen, guys, it's close. It's about execution here. If we do that, I like our chances. No hero ball, just trust each other and make the simple play. Kevin? Oh, what a basket and at the perfect time. How about the courage and backbone of this guy? Wow. Well, they had a foul to give, but they couldn't get it done before that shot attempt. Yeah, and giving up free throws isn't ideal here, Steve. You know that, but at least they got the clock stopped. So he gets them both, and it's a three-point game. Boy, he looked cool on both of them, didn't he? Clutch work at the line in a very tense moment of the game. Tipped away. And now Williams running the floor all by himself. Boy, that was a massive sequence of events there. Absolutely clutch defense to trigger the break. And we've seen games decided on plays, Clark, just like that. Effort yeah. and hustle plays often are big plays for a team. Yeah, what a time to blow up a play and then turn it into a slam at the other end. That's the kind of defense required when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were right in his face. Well, it's a wrap, fellas. <laughs> no way you come back in this one. Not anymore. Any chance of that happening went out the window a while ago. And some changes here for the Lakers. Johnson, he's checked in for Kamen. Brooks comes in for Young. And it's Henry in for Jody Meeks. Here's Marshall. That three off target had some space there after the little pump fake. Garrett and so it's Utah with the win they pulled off this win Clark with respectable performances on both ends of the floor yeah I think it was just really a nice overall effort Kevin and now we'll send it down to Doris Burke who's standing by courtside Derek your defensive pressure 